Hey guys. And Satsurika. My name is Money. And I'm Abby. And together we are The, the Modern, Modern Things. So we thought we'd do another cooking video today. But you guys know I'm pregnant, so I've really been craving some sweet food. So instead of cooking some curries, because the smell makes me feel a little bit sick sometimes, <laughs> we thought we'd make some yummy, yummy sweets. Mm, so what is the baby feeling? I think today the baby's feeling kheer. Yeah, I am feeling kheer. I love kheer. So kheer is my favorite. This is going to be his, the father's child because <laughs> kheer, honestly, is my favorite thing ever. Anywhere we go, he sees kheer, he has to get like two or three helpings, yeah. even if it's a temple. So today we're going to make some kheer. We're going to show you guys the process of it. Keep it very simple. It's and very, very easy. It's like the Indian version of rice pudding. It's so easy. It's basically just with milk, rice, and a couple of other little spices to give it some extra flavor. Do you know how to make it? You're gonna teach me. I'm gonna teach him. Let's go, guys. Let's learn how to make heat today. Apa nuga I don't know what you're saying. Like, are we ready to make it? Mm, close, but apa nuga We have everything we need. Yes. Yes, Hanji. Acha, acha. I just left it in the fridge because you don't know. Okay, so here we've got all the ingredients we need for the kheer. So, the main one <laughs> is milk, which in Punjabi is. Mm, mm, dodda. Dodda. Some cardamom seeds to add into it, which is lachi. A couple of stems of saffron, which is just a little tiny bit. I don't know. What's the word for saffron? Mm, saffron no Punjabi is menu ni pata. Comment je padli ki. They can keep helping you like this, babe. <laughs> With kheer, you can add in pretty much anything you want to give it a little bit of crunch, a little bit of a texture. Some people like to add raisins to it. Uh, me and Money don't really like raisins very much. So I have almonds and cashews, which which is badam and kaju. Hmm. Then we've got sugar, of course, which I, do, I don't know the word for. My apne brother nu ki bol na. Changu. Ha, te fir chi, eh ki ya. Something with a C. Chi. Ni. And we have got some basmati rice, which I've just got soaking in some water right now to try it and lift all like that starch out of it. And lastly, we need the gori. Goris. <laughs> First of all, I think I'm going to start with the rice. I'm just going to put it on to boil um, and I'll start the kheer right after it. Just because the rice, it does take quicker than the milk to make, but you kind of want to put the rice in along with the milk while it's boiling and then it gets all those nice flavors to it. I'm just going to rinse the starch out of this one first and then we will start boiling it. I just use half a cup of rice. It's up to you guys how much you're wanting to use for yourselves. We just like it quite runny with like little bits of rice going through it. So now I'm gonna start with the gear. So on the bottom, I'm gonna put half a cup of water. Ooh. Anji, also, a apna stove both hi jale garam ho gaya si ga. It steamed up the whole glass just from the glass being next to that stove. That's crazy. Te fir tonu pata a apna pressure cooker vich dodd baawange. Baad cho yo dodd nu wali aayi oda patakka pe jiga. We don't want that to happen. So what we've done is we've just changed it to the next door neighbor, as this stove does not get as hot as this one. This one is too hot. A Maya te otunga. So now we're gonna add in this full carton of dud is gonna go in the pot. Let's pray it doesn't go. No, we're okay. <laughs> you wanna add, again, it's totally up to yourself. I like to add in two cardamom seeds. Should we add three? No, two. Uh, two lachi seeds just to give it some flavor in there um, and that can simmer away with the cardamom. Some people like to use the powder, some people like to break it up. Totally up to yourself. You do it how you like it. 
I just use the whole seat. And then we're just gonna cover this with a lid for now. Oh. You don't have to put it on with the pressure cooker. I just like the lid covering over the top. Is that gonna be safe, Bubba? It's on this one. Okay. And I, I put it down so it's not on high. I will see you in the scene. I will see you in You naughty, naughty woman. It's not me. Naughty, naughty. I'm not 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 naughty. Haro chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> I love my two babies. <laughs> That's okay with me. Pregnant lady is crazy. Excuse oh, me? Hello, cute. Chupkar, okay? Ki? Chupkar. Kyo? Kyo? Ha? Mai kyo chupkara? Tu chupkar? You call me crazy. Ha, tu pagala. I know pago means crazy. <laughs> Nay, pagal means sundar. Like, pagal means beautiful. No, it doesn't. Huh? It means crazy. Nay? You literally told me this yesterday when someone <laughs> wrote pagal on a video. <laughs> you think it's smart, eh? So, from here, this kind of takes a long time. Um, Kiev is quite a long, slow process because you don't, you don't want the milk to, like, boil and cook really, really fast. You kind of want to let it, like, simmer and gradually get a little bit thicker and thicker and thicker. Um, so while the rice is boiling, we've got the milk just heating up. It's quite a long process. Once we are ready, slash when the rice is ready, we'll show you what happens next. Okay, so the rice has been boiling for about 5-10 minutes and it's already done. <laughs> so we're just going to drain the excess water of it and then add it into the milk to simmer. We don't waste no food! So now we're gonna add in a torda piece of saffron. So a what? A torda. Yeah, torda. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> I said torda. Torda piece of saffron. So and leave that in there to mix in with the flavors. Mm. Um, I don't think we need to put the, the lid on anymore. It's, as you can see, it's starting to like steam up a little bit and gets quite hot. I like to clean, clean, clean when the sun goes down. Whoa. So, I have a little fun fact actually about Kiev. Do you remember? No, I don't. You know how when you get married and you have to stay the night at your like husband's parents' house, it's like tradition, mm. the next morning that the bride oh, yes. cooks a, like, is it a sweet uh -huh. usually or is it breakfast? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, has to cook something for like the whole groom's family. We made kheer <laughs> mm. the day after our wedding. I do remember that, you making kheer with mum. I was not very good at Indian cooking <laughs> back when we got married. I learned it all after the marriage, so that was the day I learned to make kheer. It was the day after. And it was very yum. Thank you, your mum did most of the work. Um, so as you guys can see, it's getting a bit thicker on the top here. So I'm at adding the sugar now, quarter of this bowl. <laughs> I'm just kind of pouring it as I see it, but my mother-in-law always used to say about half a bowl, but I'm making a little bit less than we usually would, because we usually cook for like the whole family when we cook. So um, I'm gonna use about a quarter of this and then add more if I, if I need to. It's important to like continuously watch Kia to make sure that it's thickening nicely, but it's not sticking to anything or going bad so just keep stirring it you know the way i i stir like that stir 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 namaskar dosto swagat hai aapka money ki kitchen uh nahi hanji nahi meri kitchen hai so hey, meri kitchen hai. so what are you doing so right now guys in my kitchen as you can see the lovely kajus hmm hanji they're for eating in the kiev so what we're going to do guys, we're going to crush these kajus just so they're not like really chunky bits, you know, in the key. You just want them to be nice, smooth, soft to chew on. And what about the almonds? I already bought sliced ones. Because he listens. Woo! So don't have to do any of that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that. That's coming very nice and small. 
Kaja. It's getting a little bit thicker now. So we are gonna add in the badam and the kaju. So money's grinding them up nice. I know I did a lot of work, baby. Oh. Yeah, now when you grab it from the bottom, you got the rice, you got the almonds, kaju, yum. Okay, so money said to me that the consistency looks nice. So, so it's still quite liquidy with kheer. It'll, the only way it'll get like really quite thick is if you put more cream into it. Um, sometimes I use cream, sometimes I don't. It's healthier without cream, so today we just decided to go for just milk. Um, but you can add a little bit of cream into it if you want it to be a little bit thicker. But Money likes it like this, hey. That's perfect, baby. A little bit runny. So, so excited to taste it. That's done. So we'll just take it off the heat. Serve up. Ooh, look, it's boiling. Uh, <laughs> we'll take it off the heat. Uh, serve it up. Good to go. Thumbs up. You want to try some? Mm, okay. Can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> look at that. You want an Indian bowl? Yes, please. <laughs> Also guys, we're not going to eat this all by ourselves, okay? When we make food, we make it to share with other people, so... Don't think bad of us. <laughs> we are finally done making this beautiful kheer. Also called rice pudding. Let's give it a go. Mm. Wow. That saffron tastes so good mm -hmm. in it. Like, you can... Um, I love saffron and things. It just adds such a nice flavor to it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and this video and try it out yourselves at home. Always remember... We are not that couple. Always remember that. That we are that not that couple. you should like and subscribe. Yeah, We're not yeah, that yeah, couple. Yeah, like and subscribe. We're not that couple. The camera brings out the best of me. I thought I brought out the best of you. No, that too. No, the camera brings out the best of me. <laughs> Let's go.